This is my boomerang. And this is also my boomerang. Probably more of what you expected. But it took a lot of trial and error. Aerodynamics and boredom. I was bored out of my mind after working on one of my projects for the last one and a half months. Then it hit me like a boomerang that came back a little too fast. Hmm. What's it like to throw a boomerang? First, I would need to make one. Could I have bought one from Amazon? Absolutely. But me being me, I also wondered what it's like to design a boomerang. But how would I design a boomerang? Apparently, the origins of boomerangs date back 10,000, possibly 20,000 years ago. Cavemen had boomerangs, so this should be easy, right? Okay, I stand corrected, but I think I got it. Basically, boomerangs are just two wings joined together. You throw boomerangs vertically while giving it some spin. This makes the top wing move faster in the air and have more lift than the bottom wing, which goes backwards. Because there is more lift at the top, the boomerang should tip over, but it doesn't. The spin causes gyroscopic precession, which uh, cancels out the tilting, and because the vector points up from the boomerang, it turns. Got it? Cool. So, here's my idea for the design. I'll make a top-down shape of a boomerang, then stretch it into a 3D shape. From that, I cut away material by drawing the negatives of the cross-sections of the boomerang to get the general shape of an airfoil, aka a wing. Repeat that on the other wing, and smoothing things out, and we have a design. Well, here it is. I'm gonna try and throw it indoors. See if it spins a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So this is the first test, and uh, hopefully it flies like one of those birds over there. Apparently you're supposed to hold it like a pistol grip, and then you just chuck it so thing is I don't know how to throw a boomerang so this thing either won't work because of me or because uh, I didn't design it nice so here goes nothing oh okay it did bend a little bit I threw it kind of wrong so oh 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 you did you see that oh my I think I know exactly what we might need. We just need more of that airfoil shape. My expectations were pretty low for the first design. In other words, any uh, turning airfoil. movement had exceeded my expectations. Yeah. However, I have much higher expectations for PCBWay, the sponsor of this video. PCBWay can ship you your physical PCB design in around a week of you sending in your design, almost as fast as a boomerang coming back. They can also take your CAD designs and give you the physical design, either 3D printed in plastic or metal, CNC milled, and more. Check out PCB Way in the description below. The first design obviously did not come back. What if my wing is just the wrong shape? My airfoil may just be a bit too blunt, creating more drag than anything, and the boomerang could be a bit too thick as well. Remember your training. 45 to 60 degrees. Yeah, whatever, let's just get. Uh oh. Oh. Whew. It almost made it back. Oh. Okay. The wind was blowing it too far. I should throw it like this, I don't know. There it is, right there. Oh, we gotta somehow get that down. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, we got him with an umbrella. Thank you. Oh man, it was already a challenge just trying to find it. Okay, I just gotta take great care in how I throw this thing next time. Every test came up short. No use in continuing the test for this design. Oh, oh, okay, that was close. I mean, I, I don't understand. I, I've put in so much love, care, and work into my boomerang, and yet it doesn't want to come back. 
I guess. Theory can only take you so far. Come on, let's get it together. Let's get it together, man. Drastic changes require drastic wills. I had to change how I designed the boomerang. Making a shape and then cutting material away caused a few issues with how it's shaped. But after some thinking, I came up with a new design philosophy. Drawing the cross section and then stretching it out in the desired path was a much better approach. Looks a lot better too. For the ends, I merged the face of the cross section into a squashed version of that same cross section and took out material to make a circular edge. Apparently it returned so well that it went way behind us. Oops. Oh, it does fly. It does fly. But it goes a bit too far to the to the left. But it does return. So very nice. Oh, so Oh my goodness, that was actually, oh my goodness, that was close. That's actually how I throw it. I'm just bad. Oh yeah. Oh my, that was close. Watch this. Oh, okay. That was close. Oh, that's too far. Batter up. It's good but it could be better. A returning boomerang doesn't have to look like an L. It just needs to come back well. So, let's bring it home, unintended. Instead of two wings, I wanted to try a design with three wings. More wings means more lift, and also more angular momentum, increasing gyroscopic precession, AKA, it turns more. So, the design of course consists of three wings, which use the same proven wing design as the previous boomerang design. This time, the wings are joined together with a center hub. In addition to more lift, it also makes it look like a weapon. Here we have it. We have the Tri Boomerang Australian Shuriken. And uh, hopefully I don't decapitate myself. But I guess without further ado, we'll see how it flies and hear how it sounds. Well, you can't really hear it, but I'll hear it. Oh yeah, okay, it's better. I didn't throw it that well though. Do it like that, it'll just go up and down. Oh no, it's gonna break. Never mind, it doesn't. Maybe I just gotta really throw it vertical. Oh my goodness, that went way too. Thought it was gonna work. Apparently not. Oh, that's much better. Okay, watch this. Never mind. Turn more, come on, come on. Yes, yes! Just throw it vertical. Hell yeah! Ow! 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 Okay, you know what? Who cares? I, th I think I got it. I'm a pro boomerang. Never mind. It's me that I have to engineer now. I am the engineering project. Aerodynamics. How do they do this? Professionals are really professional, man. So I just throw it harder. Just disconnect my shoulder, you know? Oh, this one right here. How do they do it? I hit that bird right there. Oh my, I almost did. This one? Nope. I'm actually getting it. I think I'm getting it right now. I just gotta be confident. It's a little spinning blade, like it's sharp at the end, so it's scary, bro. Perfect. Dies. 
coming. Yes. With the final design essentially being an Australian death shuriken, as you can see from some of the cuts on my hand, but a working boomerang, I was pretty happy. Now, I really enjoyed making this video, and if you enjoyed watching it, then please like and subscribe. Huh. I wonder what I would have done if I didn't decide to let my boredom dwell just a little bit longer.